Hey everyone, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and I am heading out to town, of course, to Hope. So I'm going to get out there. It's a, let me see what time it is. It's almost 1.30 and I told her I would be at her house by 2 to watch the baby so she could do a little bit of things around the house, some, a few things around the house. She cannot hardly clean or anything because he is so spoiled and we've made him that way that he does not want you to leave the room. If he's in a room with you, and, and she's got baby gates up everywhere. And if you cross that gate, he goes into fits. And so usually uh, me or his daddy, Rich, has to watch him before Hope can do anything. Shower or clean or eat or anything almost. So I'm going to go out there and watch him for a couple hours. And then we're going to head out to Bible study tonight. But I thought before I leave that I would get on and show you my look today. And I'm wearing my dramatic eyelashes again today. I love these lashes. I told Hope they're my favorite that I've ever used. Um, I kidded with you guys once before and told you I used to wear the real thick eyelashes that look like caterpillars on my eyelids. But what it was, they were thick all the way across, where these are more, um, I guess, what, different, the um, lashes are different lengths, like spiky, instead of just one big rounded. Do you like how I describe stuff? You can tell that I'm not a professional. Anyway, I like that these are more out like this, like little spiders almost. But uh, anyway, I love these lashes, and I am going to buy me some more of these as a backup. They were the Ardell Double Up 203s, and I used my Morphe palettes today. I used both of them. I used uh, the bronze uh, palette for a transition shade, and then I just used a, a, a beautiful grayish silver color out of the other palette. And I kept my eyeshadow a little bit toned down today because I knew I was going to do the lashes. If I do these lashes, I will probably keep my shadow a little bit more muted. And then I used my uh, Wet n Wild Pro Liner. I love that eyeliner, definitely. I'm going to definitely buy that again. And let me show you what I have on my lips. I have all the products that Deidre sent me on my face again today. I'm wearing my uh, foundation. I'm wearing my uh, Dream Lumi Touch. I'm wearing the contour palette and the blush. Everything on my face except my mascara and my eyebrows are from Deidre. But this is my lip today, and I love it. It's the I Am Obsessed with these uh, Wet n Wild gel liners. I have never used a lip liner as good as these liners. I recommend them. If you are watching and, and you're on the hunt for a good lip liner that's inexpensive, I wore one yesterday. I wore the uh, Bear to Comment yesterday. It was a beautiful lip all day. The lip liner stayed on all day, even through uh, eating and everything, it stayed on. But this is the one in um, Plum Together. It's just a beautiful plum color. I would swatch it, but I don't want it to clean up after it today. But they go on so smooth. I've never used a liner this smooth and soft. And then I put uh, my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in um, Very Recognized. It is beautiful. I love these liquid lipsticks, and I love the applicator. I love the wand on this, too, very well. I have so many liquid lipsticks now, but I believe the Wet n Wild Cat Suits are taking the number one spot. I love the Sephora, and I love the, the NYX. NYX puts out a good liquid lipstick. The, I love the lingerie line in the NYX. Uh, Lisa, if you're watching this, you would probably love a lot of those shades. You need to check those out. They have a lot of the uh, nude and neutral shades. I love the, um, of course, I love my dose of colors, but they are very drying and very expensive. Uh, the um, Jordana, they're really good. They can be a little bit drying, and the darker shades don't wear off as well. But I tell you, these cat suits wear so comfortable all day and easy. If you're interested in using some liquid uh, lipsticks, I recommend getting out and getting some of the Wet n Wild uh, cat suits if you can find them in your area. These are wonderful liquid lipsticks. They do not uh, dry your lips out and they don't wear off real uh, patchy or drying. They're perfect. I think they're perfection. As far as the liquid lipstick, I think this is the best I've tried. Love it. But I think that's all about my makeup today. I'm just wearing my uh, hair in a high, messy ponytail. I wanted to wash my hair today, but we are on city water, of course. And our water pressure is almost down to nothing today. So I don't know what's going on with that. It does that very often. So I don't know. I, I didn't want to have to get in and take a shower in low water pressure. So I just put it up, in, which it looks fine. A high, messy ponytail. And I'll get up in a minute and show you my outfit of the day. But I want to show you my new sunglasses. Let me reach back here and get my tag. I bought these sunglasses at a kiosk in our mall. And the brand is, it just says Oceanic Color Lens. Just a little 
tag that came on them. I love these sunglasses. And they are a real pretty light purple, if you can tell. You probably, they look more like amber in here, but I love these. They're mega. They're mega sunglasses, but I love the octagon shape. I love the gradient, uh, the lenses. I love everything about these, and I think they look cute with my look today. But I'm going to wear these today and switch out of my Steve Madden's for a while. But, yeah, I love these. I'd like to have some more of these in different colors. But if you could see this in person, it's more like a light purple shade. Let me take them off and look at them. Yeah, it's hard to tell in here, but they're really pretty. Maybe I'll uh, vlog a little bit today. That's what I'll do. I'll vlog a little bit today with uh, me and Hope and the baby, and I'll show you these glasses better out in the sunlight. But I love them. I love that they're huge. They almost take over my face, but I, I like that. But yeah, I like my look. I like my glasses. I like my lips. I love my lashes. And Did I say lashes? or I like my glasses, lashes, and my lips. And I'm so excited about my new bag. I've had this handbag for several weeks now. And I was just waiting to show. I have so many new things. And I'm just going to split it up. I've told you that before. Because if I would try to show you all at once, it would be a huge haul. And it was bought at different times. I don't really remember a certain times that I buy certain things. But look at this bag. I love it. It's a Steve Madden. And the manufacturing retail price is $88, if you can see. I still have all the tags. I still have the stuffing and everything in it. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $39.99. And I love this bag. It's like a vinyl. And it's gray and black. But what I really love is the handle. Look at this strap. Let me go ahead and stand up. I don't think you're getting the full picture of this. I'm just going to go ahead and move my chair. And show you my outfit. But look at this purse. It's a very uh, good everyday bag. You could just, this. it's real it's real slicky, and you could wipe it off. It'll be real good to uh, pack when I have my grandbabies because we're all the time spilling and snacking, and so it'd be good to have that. But I love this bag, and I really, really, I was drawn to the strap. That's the reason that I bought the bag. You could carry it, you could pack it like this too, which I probably will because I like the strap hanging down. I usually pack my purses on my arm anyway. But I love everything about this purse. I think it's uh, edgy slash just real um, uh, basic. I love that about it. It's not real fancy, but then it also has the little bling to make it stand out. But yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Uh, it's a real lightweight handbag. I think this would be perfect uh, this summer when I want to go out maybe to a park or amusement park or just go out with my kids and not have uh, a heavy handbag. And it's got, but it's roomy. I could put some of the kids' stuff in this and pack some extra things in it. But I love this handbag. Love everything about it. I think Steve Madden puts out some real pretty edgy stuff. Every time I'm in New York City, I like to walk into the Steve Madden store. I love his shoes and his handbags. But yeah, that's my new bag. And I'll show you my look today. It's just a Forever 21 red and white flannel uh, blouse. I like the snaps. It's the little pearlized snaps. I got this at, uh, I think I got this at, I got this in New York City. I did. I got it at the Forever 21 in New York City the last time I was there. I got this one. Let me show you the other one I got. I bought these on the same day. I love this one too. It's just black and white checked and it's got, it's a more high-waisted and it's got the little fringe at the bottom and I've already wore this one. It's really, really cute with jeans. But yeah, I got these two tops when I, when I was in New York. And I've just got it paired up with my seven for all mankind jeans. And I'm wearing a French Connection brown distressed belt today. These jeans are a little hard to keep up, so I do have to wear a belt with these. But I like this look. And I'm wearing my cowboy boots, and I'll show them to you. I'm going to pull my stool out a little bit. They're just basic brown cowboy boots, and I have my uh, jeans tucked in. And I only own one pair of cowboy boots. And I got these several years ago at, uh, what is it, DSW for like 60 bucks. I did have another pair of cowboy boots that I bought the same day that I bought these. And they were a really pretty um, distressed uh, tan color. But after I broke my left ankle, 
at where the swollen, uh, the bones stay bigger and it kind of stays puffy and swollen at times. I could not get those cowboy boots on my foot again after that, and I hated that, so I gave them to my daughter to sell. But yeah, I'm going all western today. Here's the back. And you probably found out by now that I am not a snazzy dresser by any means. I just like, I like a lot of basic pieces and I just like to, you know, put a little uh, edgy touch to it or a classy touch to it. But most of the time I'm in jeans or faux leather and I wear dresses a lot to church. But, uh, and I, you always know I like my button ups. So I tucked it all the way in today with my belt and I like that. And I've just got my silver jewelry. Uh, I do own more jewelry than what I show you, and I will show you my jewelry. But I always go to back to the basic pieces. Uh, I'm not real um, expressive when it comes to a lot of jewelry. I've got a few bold, chunky pieces that I do want to show you. And I have one real interesting bracelet that I want to share the story with you uh, one day about it. But I've just got my silver bands on, my wedding set, my... Silver hoops, just the, oh, and I changed over into my BCBG bag. I like when I wear this brown belt. I like the brown handles because the belt and the handles match. I'm not all about matching, but sometimes I like it. But yeah, here's my look today. I like my high ponytail. And I think there's a couple more blouses. I've still got a few minutes. I've got about 25 minutes before I have to be at Hope's. So I'm going to show you a few of my new tops that I've not showed you yet. And these two tops, they're two blouses, came from Route 21 in our mall. And I love this. I love a cold shoulder blouse because I have wide shoulders and I like that about myself. And I like that they're bony. And I know you're not going to agree with this, and that's fine if you don't. Everybody's different. But I like to be skinny and bony. I like, to, well, I don't really like to be scary skinny, they call it, but I do like to see uh, my bones pronounced, and my family thinks that's crazy. But my, I like when I wear a cold shoulder that you can see the bones in my shoulder. And uh, I know, Missy, are you going to have something to say about that? My sister-in-law, she always leaves me the cutest little comments. But I love it. I love reading them. But anyway, this is a cold shoulder blouse. And if you can see, it's white with little small uh, black polka dots. And it buttons at the back. And it's got the long sleeves with the buttons. And Hope has this very same blouse, and she's worn it a couple of times. It looks gorgeous on her, but I freeze. And until it gets May or June, I really can't wear real thin blouses like this because I get so cold. But I love this blouse, and I'm going to enjoy wearing it with uh, some boyfriend jeans and some heels. But I love that. And then I got the same blouse. I got the same blouse in red, Rue 21. It's just a solid red shade, a beautiful red shade, if you could tell. Looks pretty with my lips, doesn't it? But um, I can see me wearing this with some faux leather pants or my boyfriend jeans. Or, of course, I would wear any of these with a black skirt or a blue jean skirt even. But it's the very same blouse, only in red. At Route 21, and they were $18.99. I think those little stores like that in the mall have some of the cutest little trendy tops and stuff. I like to go in there and see what they have from time to time. But I love this little blouse. Okay, uh... Let me see. I think that's all I'm going to show you today. I've got several tops that's came from Peonies. I've got some more stuff from TJ Maxx. But I think that's all I'm going to show you today. But uh, you guys have a great Friday. I think I will do some vlogging today. I'm just in the mood for it. It's a pretty sunny day. So I'll probably catch up with you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. And I'm in the car and I'm getting ready to go to Hope. So I wanted to show you my glasses in the sun. I think you can see the purple tint to them a little bit better out here. And look how beautiful these lips are. Or this lip color. Isn't it pretty? I think it looks pretty with my top. Even though it's more of a um, plum color and my top's red. I think it works. But I think I'll do some vlogging today. It's beautiful and sunny out. I don't know if you can tell. I've got my car running. I forgot to, I forgot to not start it before I got on with you, but uh, I like my look. I love these mega glasses. But yeah, I think you can see the purple better, but I'm getting ready to head to Hopes and I'll vlog some more when I get out there. I just pulled into Hopes and I realized that I've went on and on about these glasses and did not even tell you that they just cost $4.99. Uh, usually in that little kiosk in the mall, 
we have this one little kiosk that switches out with the seasons and through the spring and summer they carry sunglasses and like phone cases and stuff like that and then through the fall and winter they have like um, scarves and ponchos and uh, beanies and trouser socks and all that stuff so every year uh, we usually shop which I don't know what's going on with that I think everybody's face is asymmetrical but sometimes mine gets really off looking sometimes. I think my nose or something. Look at my eyebrow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Or maybe I just drawed my eyebrow over too far today. But anyway, these glasses are just $4.99. And then at the end of the season, when they start bringing in their fall stuff, you can get them marked down to two fifty. dollars And like I told you before, I don't buy expensive glasses. I can't get over that eyebrow. That's crazy. I might have to go in hopes and draw the other one to match it. But anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I don't buy expensive glasses because I break them and lose them and all that good stuff. My grandbabies get them out and play with them, scratch them up and muck them up and all that good stuff. But I'm getting ready to go into hopes and I'll probably vlog some in there with the baby while she's doing some stuff around the house. And then we're going to go out and eat in a little bit. I may do the, some vlogging. I don't know. I don't know. It'll just be random stuff today. Um. My teeth are looking really white. I've been using my Plus White Gel every day with my new toothbrush, and I love them. I love both products really well. But, yeah, I like that. Has anyone else ever seen where everybody is going on about the Tuxedo Charco Teeth Whitening Powder? I think me and Hope's going to maybe invest in a jar of that and split it and see if we like it. But do some research on it. It's really interesting. But I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Everyone, this is me and Gage. I was getting ready to eat my protein bar, but Bubby decided <laughs> that he wants it instead. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? He spilt some of it. But he loves my old protein bars. I don't know why. They're not as good as his snacks and food, but he loves them. And he knows when I bring them in that I've got it. Look at him. You got it, Bubby? Can Mamu have some of it? Can Mamu have some of it? Show him how you eat it. Oh, well, he gets what he wants, but we'll catch up with you later. Bye. Everyone, me and Gage are walking through town. You see him? And uh, this is Hope's little town that she lives in, and we're on her street, and we're getting ready to walk down to the Dollar General store. She has one in walking distance, and we're, gonna, we're just getting out enjoying the day. Hope needed some me time. Being a full-time mommy's hard. I'm walking. That's the reason my camera's shaking. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to walk down to the dollar store and then maybe walk over to Giovanni's and give her some a long time. She's cleaning. Three, two, one, two, three. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to my sweet boy is sitting here. He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. We went for a nice walk in town. We went over to the Dollar General and picked up a few things. Look at him. He's my angel. And we went to Giovanni. So it's just been me and him all day. We let his mom have some alone time. And I have wore him out, it looks like. I let him walk most of the time. The whole time we was in town, I let him walk. So he's tired. But we had a good day today. I'll probably call it, uh, call it a day right here. We're getting ready to go to Bible study, and I don't think I'll vlog any. Uh, so I'll probably just catch up with you sometime tomorrow. You guys have a great uh, Friday night, and be safe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.